Well, they had flippers, so kind of like birds have a really big sternum for attachment for wing muscles. Plesiosaurs had large bones. It's been a long journey. That journey began in the tropic shale of Utah in 2012. That's where St. Norbert College Associate Professor of Geology, Rebecca McKean, identified what could be a new species of prehistoric marine reptiles. The plesiosaur, as it's known, swam the waters covering the western U.S. some 92 and a half million years ago. McKean returned the following year with St. Norbert students to excavate her find. It's never been revealed at the surface before. No human eye has ever seen this before. At this point, McKean can't say for sure if she discovered a new species. However, looking at what I see in the pectoral girdle that I have prepared so far and what I've revealed in the skull so far, it does not look like anything else that we have from this formation yet. The roughly two foot skull, which McKean says is the most complete skull she has found from this formation, could hold the key. But she has at least two more years of cleaning and gluing the fragments of the skull together before she can know for sure. At the very least, McKean says it adds to her knowledge of what was swimming around this part of the seaway at the time. The ultimate goal from a research perspective is a publication describing the specimen and identifying it and then drawing some context for this particular whatever species it it is. It's a long, tedious process, but one McKean says she has enjoyed. Having students helping and interested adds to her excitement. The prep work itself, I had my introduction to paleontology class actually help me open up the first jacket in the fall of 2014, and that was so much fun because they got to actually start the prep on it right away as I was beginning things. McKean hopes her trips to Utah will continue. The Grand Staircase National Monument, which is where she does the vast majority of her research, was being cut by 50% due to a presidential proclamation. This will have a drastic impact on my work in the future because my entire field area has been cut from the monument, which means it has lost all of its monument protection. Things like mining can take precedence over scientific research, which is a great concern to McKean moving forward because her research is a big part of how she teaches at St. Norbert. In the meantime, McKean continues to prospect. She was on sabbatical last year, searching for new fossils. One goal was to try to relocate sites from 2015. McKean also spent time doing work at a museum in Flagstaff, Arizona. I do this at the Museum of Northern Arizona. As I mentioned, I'm a research associate there. Every single specimen is assigned a field number and an accession number. And the rest of her sabbatical was spent at St. Norbert doing prep work on the plesiosaur. We're looking at something that has been buried for 90 plus million years. I mean, that's just, it's an incredible thing to think about. I'm Mike Counter for St. Norbert College.